For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. Also, I've got a new merchandise store, hats, hoodies and new tee designs all available right now on the link in the description. Hey guys, welcome to episode number four of the Career Mode Road to Glory here on FIFA 17. Thank you for your continued fantastic support of this series. I've had plenty, literally hundreds of comments on every single episode so far with transfer suggestions and well over a thousand likes on every video so far as well. So please do continue to keep that trend up. Smash the thumbs up button if you enjoy. And of course, if you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. We, in the last episode, unfortunately got knocked out of the pre-season tournament in frustrating circumstances shall we say so we now have a two and a half three week break until uh, the first game of the league season against Carlisle United followed by first game of the cup season in the uh, football league cup against Charlton so we have a little bit of a while to consider some of our options with regards to transfers we've uh, made one signing so far bringing in uh, Jonathan Lecco from West Bromwich Albion on loan for this first season we raised some money with that pre-season tournament, about nine hundred about nine hundred thousand pounds, and we've thrown that all into the wage budget, or almost all of it into the wage budget, as you can see there. Thirty-three and a half thousand pounds available to us. As of your suggestions in the last episode, episode number three, I've added even more people to the shortlist now, so you can see how long it is here. There's just so many people that I'm waiting for scout reports to come back on before I make a definitive decision as to who to go for. We have thrown in a couple of uh, contracts, though, for players that we are 100% certain that we definitely want to sign. Most notably, uh, Furman, the central midfielder, who's a free agent. Uh, Anaki has come back with a counteroffer. He wants £15,000. Now, I would be tempted, or oh, I would be willing to give him maybe eleven. He would be a very good player and could play in a kind of anywhere on the right hand side but I don't really know as I want to give him the full 15 considering we're going to want to bring in a number of players if we possibly can I'd rather I'd rather bring in you know I'd rather save a little bit of money on contracts here and there and actually bring in a number of players rather than bring in you know one or two big players but we offered Furman 13 no 12 and a half and he turned it down let's offer him 13 so from 13750 and see if he'll accept that. Two years, crucial first team player. Hopefully he does. That would uh, knock our wage budget down to under £20,000 should that deal go through. I'm not sure whether we'll get any gameplay in today's episode because there's going to be so much transfer action. We'll have to wait and see. You, you'll probably know by the time you see this because you can see what's at the end of the video. As I'm recording in real time, I've absolutely no idea. We'll just have to wait and see. Darling's gone up one rating Thanks to a good training session, which is good. Ute is getting closer and closer to 65 rated as well. He is joint top rated player in the side currently, I believe. 64 is the highest rated player we have in the team. I oh, know, Luke Berry 65 and Leon Legg 65. I take that back. There you go. We have two 65 rated players in the team. They are the two highest rated. We do have a number of uh, players in the uh, early 60s though. So the squad is... Pretty good for League 2 level, it has to be said. Gotten a number of squad reports, or scout reports, sorry, back here as well. In fact, they're all scout reports. So I'm going to go and quickly have a look through these. These are all right backs, I think, apart from uh, Reese Oxford. So it's going to take me a while to go through these, but I will cut back to you in a moment once I've had a look. All but two or three of those were right backs. There are a couple I'm going to throw to the wayside that I don't think are going to be worthwhile. Uh, Ryan Lamb is going to be... Oh, Ryan Niam, sorry, is going to be one of those, as well as James Bree and uh, and Louis Coyle as well. One of the players that really... Did I see? No, Louis Coyle's all right. One of the players that really caught my eye was Joshua Emmanuel. His physicals look pretty good already, and to be fair, his uh, technicals are genuinely half-decent as well, especially for League 2 level. Now, whilst I can't afford his, uh, his fee for a transfer, we might be able to uh, tempt Ipswich into giving us a two-year loan deal for the guy. And if we can train him whilst he's here, then that would also give us a fantastic opportunity to maybe bring him in permanently in a couple of seasons' time once we have a little bit more money. I think that's going to be the thing that we want to do. I only brought Lekko in on a one-year deal, and uh, I'm not sure whether we'll regret that or not, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, this guy, Brian Torrielba, looks... Okay, but I'm, um, again, waiting to see specific figures for him. Trent Alexander-Arnold, again, physically looks okay, but he's expensive. And also, being at Liverpool, he's on nearly 20 grand a week. So I'm going to have to take him out of the reckoning, unfortunately, because he's very expensive. Uh, there are a couple others that we're still waiting to find out 
stats for, and then a, a number of players in other positions that we're still waiting to find out stats for. Reese Oxford, oh, I bet his wages are quite high. 9,400 isn't that bad, but we're probably going to look elsewhere first. So let's push forward a little bit further and see what else happens. From that particular list, I've gone in and thrown a loan bid for Lundstram and for uh, Ledson and Chaplin and Osadebe. So we will have to wait and see what comes back there. I'll show you those the, those player stats once we get a little bit closer to perhaps signing one of them. Uh, we've got more scout reports coming back now. So again, I will be back with you in a moment. Although we've had a loan offer accepted for Joshua Emmanuel, the right back. And I think I'm definitely going to do that. So that's a new right back in on a two-year loan, Joshua Emmanuel. So that is our second new signing of the series. And he's actually... Well, me, going to go straight into the starting lineup ahead of Bradley Halliday, unfortunately for him. But Bradley Halliday on the bench. Halliday is also on loan, I think, this season. But we are going to throw in Emmanuel at right back. And that is another improvement to the starting lineup. I've actually thrown Leko up top, although uh, I can put Ben Williamson back up there now, considering uh, he is now fit again. I was recommended by you guys to play Leko at striker, but I think we'll, uh, we'll leave him as a right-sided midfielder for now. And if I need a backup striker, then we know we've got Leko there, although I might be leaning towards Connor Chaplin, by the, uh, judging by the stats that he has. But again, let me go and have a look at these scout reports, and then I'll report back to you myself. My loan offer for John Lundstrom has been turned down because they're not looking to loan him out, which is fine. But the loan offer for Emmanuel Osadebe has been accepted. And he, with some training, could become an absolutely incredible player. I'll show you his stats now. He's looking like he could be unbelievable. Gabriel Anaki, I'm thinking I'm going to back out of this deal. I really don't want to give him £15,000 a week. I'd rather loan someone else in, considering we've already got Leko as well. I think I'm going to lean away from that one. But... Honestly, now that we've bought an essential centre mid, I can use Medialito solely as a wide player rather than uh, you kind of rotating him in at centre mid. But look at those physical stats. They're fantastic for any player, let alone someone that's 19. 94 stamina, 86 sprint speed, 82 acceleration, 81 strength. His agility and balance and jumping are all in the mid to late 70s, if not 80, with regards to jumping. His technicals can do with a lot of training, but... With a lot of training, he could become a phenomenal player. And the fact we've got him for two years as well, I'm really excited about how this side is coming together now. I think the main point of concern at present is centre-back because Roberts and Leg are both in their early 30s and are starting to age quite a bit. So that's going to be the next position that we look to strengthen in. But we are looking at a couple of other players. The loan offer for Connor Chaplin has been accepted and I am very much keen on bringing him in. So I'm going to confirm this one. Connor Chaplin was... Uh, that's Ryan Ledson. Let's stall on that. I went into the Connor Chaplin one. Yes, he came ho very highly recommended from you guys in the comment section. So I will sign Connor Chaplin and he will start ahead of Ben Williamson. Now, Ryan Ledson, I'm going to lean away from now because we've brought in the guy from Gillingham. But I'm immediately going to throw Connor Chaplin into the starting lineup. And the sort of player that we're buying currently or loaning in currently, these guys, I'm the plan is to loan them for a spell and then buy them in permanently at the end of that loan deal. I haven't put in a potential future fee in any of these loan deals, purely because by the time the loan comes to a close, we will have absolutely no idea at this stage. There's no way of predicting what our financial situation will be at. So uh, we might as well just wait with regards to future fee and just buy them when the time comes, rather than saying, oh, we'll give you X amount at the end and then not having that money uh, when the time comes. So I think what we'll do is now look for a centre-back. And then I think I might be good to head into the season. We'll still obviously take your guys' suggestions throughout the entirety of the transfer window. And there's still going to be a couple of episodes in said transfer window because of the heavy fixture list in August. If I quickly show you the fixture list here, you'll be able to see that uh, we have five games in August at present. So there's still a lot to be done between now and the end of the transfer window. I would like to perhaps bring in two centre-backs. I'd be leaning towards buying one, actually. If I can find someone that has low enough wages, then uh, I'd be... I'd be oh, stop. Stop it. Right. Uh, Barry Kaur's back from injury. OK, that's good. Uh, Mets, they're not looking to loan out. Rejected the offer for um, Rabti, but that's not a problem. Right, now Furman... How much have I got? I can afford to give him the 15,000. It would leave me 12 ish left. Just sign it. 
If he doesn't sign 15,000, I think uh, I'm just going to have to say, all right, we'll look elsewhere and maybe spend that money on a maybe spend that money buying a centre back rather than loaning someone in. And oh, Greg Taylor wants to leave the club. Why would you want to do that, my man? Uh, Scout reports back. He wants to be given everything to the team. He's not. He might end up staying. All right. I didn't even know you wanted to leave. Uh, Atan Garner is a player we were looking at. He's a CDM, but yeah, I'm going to lean away from him. So we will remove him from the shortlist and out of there. I can't remember the guy's name. Was it Ungwene? I think that was the name of the. Uh, oh, Omar Bogle is not as good on FIFA as I was expecting him to be. He's absolutely tearing it up in League Two right now and tore it up in the uh, conference for uh, Grimsby last year as well. The centre back that came highly recommended, I think his name was Ongwene. Let me have a look at my shortlist. He was the one that I was leaning towards actually buying in as well. Let's have a look. So, yes, Jerome Junior Ongwene. I was, I would want to buy him more so than loan him, but I don't know what they'd be willing to accept. Apparently, it looks like it could happen. He's not on much wage wise. Let's see what we can do with the transfer budget and see if we can throw some extra money into the transfer side of things rather than the wages and see what what we can get it up to. Okay, we could actually have a decent amount of money to spend if we uh, halve it. So let's do this for now because, of course, we bearing in mind the Dean Furman deal, I'm going to need at least 15,000 free to uh, put that one through. Let's go back to Anguene and let's see if we can bring him in. He's valued at 650 but they reckon it could go ahead, so I'll offer them like 300 or something. And just Oh, that's 3 million, Ches. We don't have that sort of money. I'll offer them 300 and maybe actually offer them a player as well, someone I'm not interested in really keeping. Let's try throwing in... Well, I mean, I'd be tempted to let Mark Roberts go, but, I mean, if Greg Taylor's unhappy, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really unsure as to the sort of player that I'd want to let go. Um... Let's leave it at just 300,000 for now. I mean, they probably won't accept it, but you don't get if you don't ask. So we might as well throw in a bid that's uh, lower than uh, than what he's actually worth and just see what happens. Regan Paul was came highly recommended, but mm, I'm not too sure about him, to be honest, personally. Carol Metz is tall at 6 foot 2 or 3? 6 foot 4, actually, maybe. 6 foot 3 and strong. But he's eight hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. Again, I'd I'd think I'd rather buy a centre back than loan a centre back. We've done a lot with loan deals already. I'd I'd kinda of like to try and actually get my own players rather than relying on other other people. So we'll just have to see what happens over the next couple of weeks in game. But Will Norris is up to sixty two and Uche's up to sixty five. Growth is going well with regards to training, and I'm gonna to have to rotate my training session as much as I rotate my starting 11 because we've got a load of players here we want to actually improve their overalls with. Uh, Dean Furman has accepted the contract. Thank you, my man. That is very pleasing. It's going to completely deplete my wage budget, but I'm delighted that we've been able to bring him in. I'm going to reject the offer now for Ryan Ledson. That's a very, very good signing. I'm going to throw him straight into the starting lineup ahead of James Dunn and Furman and Luke Berry could genuinely create quite the partnership in midfield for this League Two season. That is very exciting. I'm very pleased with that. He's now our highest rated player at the club. And I'm particularly pleased that we've been able to get that deal done. So the side is looking stronger and stronger as we push further forward. I'm actually going to put you on the bench there, also, Debe, and James Dunn. Uh, let's leave Connor Newton there for now. And then I'm going to start training Osadebe. The side is coming together. We've made some good signings so far in this window. I'm very pleased. Thank you for all of your suggestions. Without your suggestions, the side wouldn't be looking as strong as it currently is. I'm not sure how long I've been recording now. About 25 minutes, apparently. I'm not sure how much of that is actual uh, content that you'll see or how much it is, is me just going through the menus. But Alpha rejected from Gweme. That's not a problem. I will offer again. What can we offer this time? I can probably... I keep offering millions. I don't want to do that. Let's offer 450,000. His wages we could afford already, so I can offer up to 600. And then I think that might be the final deal we get done. I'm not sure. It depends what else happens in the window, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, also in talks... Cheers then, Scunthorpe. Just hijack my move if you want. Right. Well, let's wait and see what happens with that 450. I mean, they might be silly and accept it, but I doubt it. Uh, they've accepted the Scunthorpe one. We've had a transfer offer in for Leon Davies, who I will send out on loan, the young right-back. Gives us an extra 500 quid wage budget-wise. 
Oh, that's a real shame, though. Monthly scouting report is back. Okay, that's good. We might have some youngsters we can call up. Let's have a look at those first, then. Scout has returned. Ah, the f scout future star. He's a right winger. Oh, hello. What is this all about? 16 years of age, 94 acceleration, 94 sprint, uh, 94 agility, 94 balance, 83 reactions. Welcome to the club, Le uh, Lino Navarrete. Oh. Oh, yes, please. That's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. I'm, God, I'm very excited about that. You can probably tell from my reaction. I am very excited about the prospect of him coming in. Oh, we, we may have lucked out there. We may have lucked out. Youth Squad Monthly Report is just him so far. <laughs> right then. Uh, let's have a look at the monthly scout reports. What have we got? Uh, potential 58 to 78. 73 to 94 is decent. I'm just going to reject. I'm not really going to bother signing anyone that isn't going to get to the higher reaches. Or at least into the uh, the late 60s, early or mid 70s. Because... Especially with goalkeeper, because we're going to either want to keep them or sell them on. I don't want anyone that's going to be to get to like oh 67, 68, and then that's their lot. So anyone like this, Henry Phillips, I'll just straight up reject. And George Shaw, uh, but Jordan Jackson might be decent. Oh, that scout future star. Oh, that's good. Right, let's push forward a little bit further. That, I, that's completely taken me by surprise. There, I'm going to keep training these current players until the uh, beginning of the season. And uh, then from tomorrow's episode, I'll start messing about with the, the individual players that I'm training. I'm going to continue, though, to train Will Norris in both slots continually throughout the entirety of this first season. Because he genuinely could become uh, a top, top class goalkeeper for us. We have also in talks with Wigan from Gwene. Okay. And they've rejected the offer that we put in a moment ago. Do I offer the full 650 or 600? I could offer 600. I'll offer 630. It's not close to uh, what the others have offered, but we may have to look elsewhere for a centre back. But that. Oh, I've been completely blindsided by that Scout Future Star. That has really, really changed things around. What are we going to get here? Negotiations over. All right. Brilliant. He's going to Scunthorpe then. Well, we're not going to be able to get on Gwene. So in the comment section down below, we are purely now focusing on a centre back that I can buy. Centre back that I can buy. I don't want to loan one, I want to bring someone in permanently. Now, I will adjust my budget accordingly and show you what we've got at uh, our disposal, which isn't much. It isn't much, but I could... Uh, actually, go to the finances first. I could, obviously, try and sell on someone that I'm not really too keen on keeping, but I think we're going to... We may even struggle to buy a centre-back. Um, I will wait and see what you guys say. I will wait and see what you guys say. I'm really not sure what to do. Really not sure what to do. Because we don't have much money, and I don't really have the op the option to raise much, much more. God, we don't have that many defenders in the squad, that many centre backs in the squad. We have um, uh, what's his face, Dallison in on loan, who's fifty eight rated now. I mean, we'd have Darling as well, who has the potential to grow. Uh, what to do? What to do? What to do? I will take your guys' feedback on board with regard to centre back. I might. Uh, no, I'm not open to losing Roberts or Leg. They're both rock solid, so we'll keep those two as a pairing. But the rest, the squad has come together really, really nicely. He's 62 rated already. Let's have a look at his full stats. So, 79... Ah, haha. -ha. I've fallen foul of my own excitement. His stats aren't actually as good as it said they were. They might be his potential stats then. So, he could potentially have 94 acceleration. And such and such sprint speed. But still, that's still very good. F oh, I didn't even know he was five star, five star. Game. You just, you're a gift that keeps on giving. He's five star, five star, five foot nine. His technicals are looking okay already. And he's only 16 years of age. I, I just, the wave of disappointment from his physicals not being as good as it said that they might be has been replaced by a wave of more excitement because of the fact that He's. They send him on a one-year loan, or do we send him on? A, they send him on a short loan, because his potential is so good and five-star, five-star already. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. Right, I don't know what to do with centre-back though. I really am 
unsure as to what to do with centre back, but that's good. Oh, do I play? I'll play Carlisle. This might be a slightly longer, well, it will be a longer episode, I'll, but I'll play Carlisle to make sure we get some gameplay today. Please drop the video a like if you haven't to this point, though, and you're sure that you're subscribed to the channel for all further episodes. But let's go and play Carlisle and see how we can get on in the first game of the League Two season. Manual on the run. Inside to Furman. The two new signings linking up. Berry into Connor Chaplin. The other new signing shows some good strength. Gets it to Furman. Forward to Berry. Spin the defender. Luke Berry's in the box and turns inside. Luke Berry for 1 0. No. Grizzly gets in the way and works it away well. Well, they've given the ball away, but Berry just gives up on it and then they'll smack it clear. Well, that was an interesting opening few moments. We very nearly took a 1 0 lead after just three or four minutes. Lingoya into Furman to Chaplin. We try and squeeze that to Ute, we did, and oh, I tried to shoot, and he, in the end, tried to tackle the defender as the ball was on its way into him. If he'd have just shot there and tried to sweep it home, we may have taken a 1-0 lead. Furman gets involved again, Chaplin's making the run, we'll look to slot him through and utilise that pace, which we've done well. We'll drill it into the box, Ute's there, 1-0 Cambridge after 14 minutes. Dean Furman, new signing, links up with Connor Chaplin, new signing, who drills it into the box, to Ute, who's been our best goal scorer so far in pre-season and now has continued that into the competitive year as well. Lovely finish with the outside of his left foot. We're 1-0 in front. Dunk steals it off Miller. Look to poke that to Ute. Oh, great save from Gillespie. A lot of power behind that from Ute. Right, Pierre Mingoya to stand the ball into the box. In it floats. Who's underneath it? It's Emmanuel. Right, it's headed clear. Miller looking to turn. He's got past Mark Roberts. Shot comes in and Taylor blocks it. Where's this going to drop? He's still going to drop to the Carlisle man, but Leon Legg gets a block in. That was close. That was very close. Carlisle causing me all sorts of problems after we've gone 1 0 up. Pierre Mingoya will look to try and get away, and he's done well, actually. And we'll try and thread through Connor Chaplin, which we've also done well. And he'll look to try and find Dean Furman, but it's a poor pass. Going to need to try and improve going forward and fix up defensively, otherwise Carlisle might find themselves getting a goal back in this, but Furman could try the shot from the edge of the box here. Oh, finish, my man. Scores on his debut, and that was very powerful as well. Wasn't very well placed in the bottom corner. The keeper perhaps should have done better. Well, not even perhaps. The keeper definitely should have done better there, but put his foot right through it. The movement on it did him, and it's Cambridge 2, Carlisle nil. Very good hit. The keeper... Oh, it was dipping and moving away. Maybe it was more difficult than it looked, but the power on it took it past the keeper. We have a two-goal lead. McKee. Oh, he's done me. And Mark Roberts can't get there. Oh, he's given a pen. He completely fooled me there. Two minutes into the second half, and Carlisle have themselves a penalty. Skip past one challenge. I thought I could get there with Roberts, and I just didn't stretch far enough. It's going to be a penalty and a chance for them to bring one back. McKee steps up. And goes left. We did. Oh, Will Norris with a save. A really strong palm down low. That was practically next to the post as well. It was very well placed by the Carlisle man. Just not enough power on it. And can we catch him on the counter maybe? Ute's here. Try and use his strength. Harrison Dunk's making the run. Oh, it's a terrible pass. Never mind. They had the chance there to get one back. We still might get the opportunity to get a third. Navarrete with a tackle. Wait inside here to Osadebe. And then in there to Furman, poke it, had to use Dunk, not Uche, because I think Uche ran offside there, but Furman, oh, the footwork was fantastic, I just couldn't get the shot off. Great dribbling feet from Dean Furman. Every new signing that's played in this game so far has very much impressed, including the right back, uh, Josh Emmanuel. He... Oh, what a header. Unbelievable header. 2-1, wow. I didn't, he's, he's tiny. I didn't expect him to even win the header, let alone score it. Great goal. Lamb, through to Miller. And he's in behind here. I don't know where my defence ended up. Oh! The outside of the woodwork. Inches away from Miller from equalising for Carlisle. My wing-backs just disappeared up the pitch. And we don't really have the pace with Leg or, most notably, Mark Roberts to cope with counter-attacks like that. That was very close. Carlisle, after missing a penalty as well, could have taken something from this game. And to be fair, still might. Shot from distance, wide of the target. Wow, this has been a hell of an episode. Loads of transfer action. A really entertaining opening game to the League 2 season as well. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, like I say, drop the video a like rating. You guys hit well over 2,000 likes on the first two episodes. As I record this, episode 3 has been up for... 
a matter of a couple of hours and we're already closing in on a thousand likes on that as well so please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed as always subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss out on any further content but things are only going to get more and more entertaining i think from uh, here on out plenty of transfer action so far still going to take your guys suggestions for that center back role and Three points on the board from our opening game of the league season as well. Although, clearly, judging by the way Carlisle played in that second half, not going to be an easy season by any stretch. They really pushed me close there. But that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you 